Hi there, my name is Nikki Stanner and I'm a freelance makeup artist for ASOS.com. And my job involves working with a variety of models, creating lots of different and exciting looks. I'm here to give you my tips on how to approach this week's next top challenge makeover. So today on Kaya, I'm going to be doing a really nice, fresh, bright-eyed makeup. Um, I'm going to use like a bluey green turquoise, which is really popular for spring summer this year. It's bang on trend. Turquoise is a really fashionable colour at the moment. So um, it's really important when you're going to do any type of eyeshadow, be it natural, bright, or smoky, I think, to put a good base on the eyelid first of all. Um, so today I'm using a MAC eye paint um, and the shade is untitled um, and just very very lightly with a brush buff that over the whole eyelid. Now this product is crease resistant and waterproof so this will keep your eyeshadow in place all day long. It's great for brides, stops eyeshadow from wearing off. So I'm going to load my brush up with lots of product, always tap off the excess colour. And I'm just going to apply that eyeshadow right the way across the lower lid. So just add a little bit of colour at a time. And if you notice, I'm packing the colour on with the brush rather than brushing the colour, which often lifts a lot of it off. I'm actually patting and packing that colour on so that it stays on better and you get a really intense colour. So uh, this eyeshadow that I'm using has got a little bit of a shimmer in it, which is really high on trend at the moment. Um, there's lots of products at the moment out there that have got shimmer in, or you can go for just shimmery skin in general, looks good. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of a highlighting product and just pat that onto the top of the cheekbones and that will give you that really nice, luminous, glossy looking skin. It's quite subtle but as you turn your head in the light it will really catch the light. It's really important to curl eyelashes before you put mascara on, it really opens up the eye. I like to pulse the... Um, I like to pulse the um, eyelash curlers a little first and that just helps to get a little bit more of a curl I find. Okay, just look up for me. So yeah, we're just putting some mascara on the bottom lashes in our horizontal method to help separate. It's best to do the bottom lashes first and then look down for me. Because otherwise, if you do the top ones and then you look up, you're going to get all dots of mascara onto your lovely applied eyeshadow. Um, so the best way to put your cream blusher on is literally pat it on with your fingertips, um, on the apples of the cheeks for a nice fresh rosy glow, and just blend up and outwards towards the hairline. Okay, so to finish off our look, um, we're going to do the lips. So I'm going to very lightly buff um, a pink lip pencil all over the lip. So I'm not drawing a solid line, I'm just very lightly feathering little strokes of the colour over the lip. This really gives a nice soft finish. And if you fill in the whole lip as well, you're not left with that awful lip liner look. Okay, so just to finish off this look, I'm going to use a really tiny amount of powder just in the T-zone on the nose, forehead and the chin, just so you don't look too shiny, but you want to keep the rest of the skin quite glowing, and that just completes the look. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing your entries.